Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking about solving equations using the distributive property. Please put that title on the top of the page where you'll be taking your notes. What is the distributive property? Some of you may already know the answer to that question. But if not, the distributive property is a mathematical property that allows you to distribute a number or variable through a sum or difference of terms that are within a set of parentheses using multiplication. Now that's a lot of math vocabulary, so why don't you just let me show you how it works. Please write example one into your notes right now. Now I am a visual learner, so what we're going to do is we are going to distribute the 8 into the difference that's in the parentheses, 5h minus 4. Okay, because I'm a visual learner, I like to draw a little arrow from my 8 to my 5h that helps me know to multiply them. That's going to give me 40h. And I'm going to draw a second arrow because there are two terms in the parentheses. That helps me to remember that I need to multiply the h by the 4 as well. Since there's a minus after 5h, I'm going to write a minus after 40h, and 8 times 4 is 32. We're done with example 1. Awesome. For example 2, this time I'm going to distribute the 3 all the way through, and in the parentheses there are 3 terms. That means I need to multiply 3 times. Okay? I'm going to draw my arrow. Negative 3 times 4a is going to give me negative 12a. Now sometimes those minus signs confuse me. So every once in a while I like to change that minus 6f that's in the parentheses to plus negative 6f. And now when I distribute the negative 3, I know I'm multiplying negative 3 times negative 6f. That's going to give me positive 18 F. And last but not least, I will multiply my negative 3 times the positive 7, and that's going to give me negative 21. And I'm done. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and write example 3 into your notebook. This time it looks a little different because we are going to use the distributive property to help us solve an equation. Okay? Our process is going to be the same. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to distribute the 5 into the sum that's in the parentheses. So even though the 5 is after the parentheses, because it's following right after and there's no symbol in between, we are still going to multiply that through. Okay, I'm going to take the 5 times the 6r, and that's going to give me 30r. I will also take the 5 times the 10, and that's going to give me 50. That expression will be equal to 100 from the other side of the equal sign. Now we simply have a multi-step equation. We've been working on these for about a week now, so this should be a breeze. Our first inverse operation is going to be to subtract 50 on both sides of our equation. Now, our inverse operations, plus 50 minus 50, are going to cancel each other out. We'll rewrite what we have left over. 100 minus 50 is 50 equals 30r. All right, our next inverse operation is going to be to divide both sides by 30 because we want to get the r isolated by itself. So. That says multiply, so we'll do the opposite and divide by 30. Same on the other side. Our inverse operations will cancel each other out. On the right-hand side, r is now isolated. It's all by itself. On the left, 50 divided by 30. If you punch that into your calculator, you're going to get 1.6 repeating. And it's definitely okay to, um, to do that and to write your answer that way. If you don't have a calculator, then you're doing 50 divided by 30. 30 goes into 50 one time. I'm going to subtract. I get a remainder of 20 over what I divided by, which is 30. And then I simplify my fraction 
both 20 and 30 are divisible by 10, which means that I would get a solution of 1 and 2 thirds if I was not using my calculator. All right, you guys, we've got one more example and we're kicking it up a notch. We're adding one more degree of difficulty here. All right, please write down example four into your notes. And as always, the first thing we're gonna do is distribute. So we are gonna multiply that four times the negative three C and that's gonna give us negative 12 C. Next, four times the five. Four times five gives me 20. Now, I'm gonna stop distributing because even though I have another term, that plus 7c, it is not inside the parentheses. That means it will not get multiplied by the 4. So I'm just going to rewrite plus 7c equals 50. All right, this time my next step is to combine like terms. Because I have two terms here that have a c after it, these guys are alike negative 12c plus positive 7c is going to give me negative 5c plus 20 equals 50. Okay, now that we've combined like terms, we're going to solve this equation using our inverse operations. Our first inverse operation is going to be to subtract 20 on both sides. The inverse operations cancel out. What we are left with is negative 5c equals 30. Next, we'll divide both sides by negative 5. Our inverse operations again cancel out. And we are left with c equals negative 6. And we're done. That's it. All right, you got this. Who's awesome? You're awesome.